Hit Iran now. Hit them hard. Republican senators call for retaliation. In response to the Iran drone attack that killed at least three U.S. service members and wounded many others, several prominent U.S. politicians, including Senator from South Carolina Lindsey Graham, called for hitting Iran. Hit Iran now. Hit them hard. Graham wrote on X, adding that Secretary Austin's efforts to deter aggression against the U.S. forces in the region have failed miserably. He said, I've long since lost confidence in the Biden national security team to deter Iran. If they do not change their policies now, more American service members in the region will pay the price. The only thing the Iranian regime understands is force. Until they pay a price with their infrastructure and their personnel, the attacks on U.S. troops will continue, the U.S. senator added. The U.S. service members were killed during an aerial drone attack in Jordan amid the Israel-Hamas war, President Joe Biden said. The president said in a statement that the attack was unmanned and happened near the Syria border and many others were wounded. Biden attributed the killings to Iran-backed militant groups in Syria and Iraq. The deaths mark the first U.S. fatalities in months of strikes against American forces. Although dozens of U.S. troops have been injured in attacks on bases in the Middle East since the Israel-Gaza war broke out in October, the last attack marks the first time Americans have been killed in one of these assaults. In a statement, Senator Tim Scott said, Appeasement of Iran must end. It's time for clear and decisive action, and Iran must be held accountable for the malign activities of its proxies. Senator John Cornyn was much more succinct in a post on X. Target Tehran Cornyn later clarified in another post that he specifically meant to target the Revolutionary Guard Corps and the Quds Force, both branches of Iran's military.